Hi guys, Gaming Bear here. Right, we are looking at the uh, the BF110E. Not because we're going to play it, but because we're going to upgrade it. So let's, uh, well, upgrade from it, I actually mean. So the, it goes up to the uh, ME410, and well, we're up to uh, 29,000. We may as well spend it, you know? So let's get the um, ME410 Tier 6, and the, the BF110 is fully upgraded pretty nifty that should have sorted that was 29,000 let's purchase this and I'll use 18 tokens oh why not indeed so and uh, quite a quite a significant boost so and 800 gold ouch but let's do this so let's grab that those tokens the ME410. Now let's have a look. Let's view in the hangar. First time, see what this is like. That looks really, really nice. So, first thing first, let's have a look and see how how this is upgraded from the previous version. Well, not. There we go. There we go. That's it. So, survivability has gone up to 400. Weight has vastly increased. Wow. Just under two, well, not 1900 kilos. Very, very tough plane. Let's have a look. So, th this is the basic sort of situation. Two 7.62s. So, we've actually got uh, 7.92s. So you've got less of the actual uh, 7.92s, so half the number, but I'm sure with the, the, you will get the option. A rear gunner, 213 mils from the standard two. Uh, so, so the rear gun's twice as good. You basically got uh, 213 mils instead of two uh, 7.92s. Airspeed, let's have a look. Airspeed goes up to 503, from, so about four, 40, yeah, 41 extra. Stall speed's the same. Rate of climb actually drops by three. But this is the basic version, so very interesting. Let's have a look. Dive goes up to 825 from 780. And that's very, very interesting. Let's have a look at the maneuverability. It looks like the maneuverability improves slightly. Uh, so average turn time, 17. Uh, rate of roll goes from 65 degrees a second up to 70. So the rate of roll is improved. And the controllability increase, <laughs> increases by 1. Altitude performance goes up from 1800 meters up to 2000 meters. Now, so you've lost a bit of power, a little bit of a uh, bit of the gun side of things, and and you can see these 13 mil cannons on the back. Very very interesting. With one guy who can organise them, and they can they should be able to fire all around the uh, the plane, which is very interesting. Now let's have a look at the options for upgrade. So let's click in, click through these, so we can see the options of what happens when we do the so improving the engine which we've already got so that'll improve the airspeed by an additional 14 which is pretty nice the rate of climb goes up to uh, 51.8 and the optimum goes up by an additional 10 and that's even without the uh, the top one let's have a look at the the very top engine plus 32 top speed goes up by 55 very very nice and top Top rate of the rate of climb goes up by yeah 10.1, and the, the overall speed goes up by 19. That's very nice. Oops. Let's go back down. <laughs> then we'll uh, have a look. So the the rear gunner stays at the tw twin 13 mils. You've got the bombs which we've already got, but then you can supersede it for two 20 mil cannons instead of the bombs, which will improve the uh, the overall situation quite nicely that's nice and at the same time you can increase the you can get rockets on here instead of the bombs very very interesting situation so you've got the option of bombs or big guns 220 mil cannons and then later you can improve the armament to uh, to 230 mil cannons that looks really really nice a lot of armament Huge guns, you want that out of the way. 
looking very very nice with all of those upgrades so we're looking big guns you can put in additional that's just going to be really really good a lot of mobility and some actual not um, nice rear guns on this so i'm looking forward to uh, getting some equipment on and then testing it out for the first time so bear with me so what are we going to put on let's see so first of all let's get the the basics on always fire extinguisher first aid kit and control surfaces as normal that's it that's looking good now upgrades what have we got uh, researched we've already got this engine so we may as well get that in and research like that let's look and actually purchase that additional speed 50,000 okay that's that sorted now we've got these bombs ready to go let's have a look at the implication uh, putting the big guns on we lose one airspeed cost 62,000 so additional weight let's have a look that does look very nice twin twin 20 mil cannons as additional very nice so tops we'll lose a bit of top speed bit of rate of climb some maneuverability bit of controllability but let's click those on research and plonk those in see what this looks like ah you can see the twin twin 20 mils there that looks really really nice we haven't got the uh, the credits for the the rockets will and how would that affect us so that'll worse airspeed worse rate of climb okay so let's have a look through i'm going to play this first <clears throat> and then i can decide actually you you always you always need better reflector sights do we okay i'm going to i'm going to leave it like this i'm going to play it and then we can decide what's going to suit it well so never played it before don't know what it's like it's more of the same i can't wait so let's get in try it first with this semi semi basic setup and see just what it's like right let's see where we are which map are we on okay we have got okay alpine gambit so we're starting off on the uh, west side of things command center one side so it depends which side we're on whether we want to go for the air base or the command center and we'll check out the uh, the boost see how long we've got see what height we start off which side and where we go it's gonna be pretty good I'm just I'm ex every time I get a new plane I am just so excited show me what you can do pilots let's roll okay thank you attention you are entering the zone controlled by the enemy okay we're on this side 30 seconds of boost so that's nice saving a bit let's try and boost up so we're starting at 2,000 meters as standard let's get over towards the airstrip oh, oh look at that firepower that sounds really really nice let's boost in and want to get a bit closer there we go oh, we've lost uh, had a bit of some issues Okay, let's get in and assist. Let's go after him. Someone on my tail. We'll find out what the uh, the rear guns are like. They sound pretty good. The front guns seem really good as well. Nice. Yep, yeah, very impressive. Let's circle round. Let's get uh, some repairs done. Now we've got this, this area. circle round I want to get more repairs come on that's it repair everything so I can get myself sorted 
There we go. It feels very maneuverable. I, I do like the way it is. Bomber squadron detected. Engage them immediately. I can't wait. I can't wait anymore. <clears throat> Let's get in and assist the team. I can't afford to wait anymore. We'll, uh, we can always head back to, uh, to try and repair. Let's get as high as we can. Be able to build some speed up. So you need the additional engine. The top engine would be good. Let's see what's where. Assist with these guys here. PJ38. Yeah, we can deal with that. Fokker Wolf coming in. Let's aim to get towards him. boost up, see if he's going to crash. No, he was probably hoping that we would. Nearly. <laughs> so let's get in. Very, very good guns. Impressive guns. I'm going back to repair. It's slower... Well, I'm used to fighters, so... <clears throat> Let's go and repair, and then I can come up. We've got the planes coming in. To the center. Be Let's get up and assist with that. Let's get on those and assist the t team. So the, the front guns very good, rear guns adequate, but adequate to good. Get up and assist. Get these guys out of the way. I was a bit low, I needed more boost. The guns are very good. Assisted with him, let's go for the next one. They're pulling away. We do need that better engine. The command centers are ours, awaiting help from the front headquarters. Cool, he's gone. And it would be good to follow to follow him up. Okay, we'll let him go, and then we'll get down. The threat to the complex eliminated. Sorted. Very, very nice. Let's wait for this to be fixed, and then repair. So yeah, very tough plane. Very nice guns. Very interesting combination. And this, is, this isn't fully set up. We're going to win at the moment. It looks that way. Let's just wait for this to be repaired. I don't, I don't want to go in. I, I feel like, even, even though it's very tough, and I've done most of it on two-thirds... Oh, there's more guys coming in. Boost, boost, boost. Receiving reports about rapidly deteriorating weather conditions. Support will be unable to reach nice. you. Nice. Do you read me? Over. They've captured the airfield. We no. Need to regain these positions okay, there's no point. <laughs> I don't believe that. <laughs> right, let's circle around, boost out of this, and come in, do a bit of ground attack, take We've on the, the planes. The I center. can't believe we that. Back. Okay. Let's take out some anti-air on the way through. We 
cannot support you any longer. The storm is too heavy. Do you copy? Over. Let's see how well it turns. Way to go! Victory is close! Very nice guns. Very, very nice. Someone on my tail, let's get rid of this. Fix that. Boost up. Let's get out of here. Boost, boost, boost. How tough is this? Okay, we've got air supremacy, and this is building up damage already. Uh, health, I mean, very, very tough plane. Very impressive. Very, very impressive. I'm proud of you, pilot. Wow. Head back home. Not the greatest of scores, but a very good showing of one, just how good, how tough the the plane is. Two, that even without the top engine, you can do a lot. The guns at the front are very good, the rear guns are not bad at all for taking on anyone coming in behind you. The manoeuvrability is pretty good against the, uh, the 58s. If it was the 58s, let me just check the, uh, the, num ser the serial numbers on those American planes. Very, very nice indeed. It feels a joy to play, even, even without it being fully equipped. With no special equipment, so we'll see how much we made. 30,000. You know, not bad at all. You know, you, you saw that it was a, a brand new plane, brand new crew, no special equipment. Let's have a look. So, team-wise, what was it? What were we up against? Uh, P-38Js. Very tough. 4,000 points. So we were third on the team in a plane I'd never played before. All of these guys were probably fully equipped and 30,000 credits, 4,000 experience, one single sortie, not dying once. It's a very tough plane. I like these 20 mil cannons. They're very useful. I'm not even sure that the 30 mils would be any better. I, I like that this can take out fighters and heavier craft just as well. The rear guns, they don't improve. These 13 mil, twin 13mm MGs at the back, I heard them clattering. Very, very useful. Now, did we get anything for shooting down planes in the background? Bear with me a second. Personal score. Doesn't say. But by the, the amount of the, of the, that those 13 mils were firing, I'm sure there were some people who were follow, following and thinking, I don't really want to be following that. So, and because of the, the way this is set up, you could fire all the way down, all the way up, huge angles off to the side and right behind. But best of all, these 20 mil cannons, very, very good. The rockets, I think, could be a boon. The engines, blinking, blinking good. Now... I would say, to make it even better, the improved covering, maybe 5% additional. I might go with that. Reinforced airframe, additional 15% hit points. This would be incredible. Additional armor plates, it's so tough anyway. Rear gun, oops, close that, oops. Rear gun, that might be another option. Engine tuning, it seems fast enough. But the additional power, maybe, but that might be made up by when you get the the top engine. Additional 275 power. Very useful. 
The maneuverability seems good enough, but improved flaps could be an option. You've got so many different options. It's such a fantastic base of a plane. This is one of the best fighter bombers that I've, uh, I've played. It's very much like the uh, the British, where you look at but the problem is with the British, as we look in, it's running, just no, the Mosquito has got no rear guns. So can you imagine a Mosquito? This feels like a Mosquito. The manoeuvrability is just as good. You've got the, uh, the rockets, except what this has got instead, it's got more 20 mil cannons. I would actually rather have the 20 mil cannons, you've got the chance of the rockets, and you've got rear guns. Now this is what I want to compare it to, so... Let's call this up, information on that, and then at the same time, what we really want to compare this to is the mozzie. Now, how do the these compare? Survivability, very similar, but the, boss, the, uh, the Messerschmitt is even heavier. Survivability is the same. There, let's have a look at the gun armament. So this has got more guns, okay, 303s, shorter range. Four 20mm cannons, this has got four, four 20mm cannons. Two 7.92s, what, what's not to like? Rear guns, this has got none. Now forward firing, oh yeah, we haven't got the rockets on. The rocket, the, the, the these got the, yeah, the 500 pound bombs and the rockets. You could have a combination, you could put the, um, the rockets on that would be very useful. Now let's have a look at the airspeed. How do they compare? 746, 513 speed, and the Mosquito is supposed to be very, very fast. It is very fast, but it's not as fast as the Messerschmitt. 50.1 rate of climb compared to 59.4. The Messerschmitt has got the, the bonus, but they would be similar when this goes up to, uh, well, th this will be just a little bit behind, about four behind f off the top of my head, when you put the top engine in. It'll have even more top speed. Then we look at the manoeuvrability. So, as you'd expect, the Mosquito is more manoeuvrable by just over one and a half seconds. But this feels good enough anyway. And it's got, it's got a rear gunner. Rate of roll is five more than the uh, than the mosquito, so yes, this has got the uh, better time to turn 360 degrees, but the, uh, the the Messerschmitt can actually roll better, and it can operate 2,000 uh, 2, meters, so 400 meters up above. Very very similar planes, but the one thing that the mozzie really needs is rear guns, and it just doesn't have them. But the Messerschmitt definitely definitely does and you feel confident playing this unlike the uh, the mozzie you don't you don't mind people coming up behind you whereas the mozzie would be able to be caught and anyone be able to shoot it up from behind without any worries at all this on the other hand has got that those pair of uh, mg's 13 mil mg's at the back someone no matter who it is Whatever can catch this up will be wiped out or be, will be in serious pain from those guns. And also, anyone in front is going to be in serious pain. You saw what I did. Very, very basic game. Nice score. 30,000 credits. Very fun. I, I like this plane. Very, very nice. So the, the ME 410 uh, Hornis very very nice with a lot of potential and one very tough plane very very tough indeed and if I hadn't gone back to try and get some health back from the, uh, the from the airfield I would have been out there and I would have killed more planes probably taken more damage but you saw how quickly it regained the damage just from pulling away from a fight you've got the you've got the speed spare to get away reheal come back and just blow people away very, very nice. I'm very impressed with this. So, as you can probably hear in my voice. So, the ME410. 
I really like this line. I I love my British planes. But this feels better and instills in me more confidence than the uh, than I did with with the Mosquito. The Mozzie just doesn't feel as good. This just it's a really really lovely well put together plane and it's not even fully equipped yet. This is just it's just so nice. So, yeah, double pause from the bear. The ME 410 very very nice and I can't wait for the rest. So, yeah. See you on the next one, and thank you guys, and well, enjoy. Bye!